Numbers 33 and verse 38. And Aaron the priest went up into Mount Hall at the commandment of the Lord and died there in the 40th year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt in the first day of the fifth month. I want to share briefly on the power of almost. The power of almost. One of the strongest demonic forces that can frustrate the effort of a man is the power of almost. The power of almost has the ability to frustrate every individual. No matter how passionate you are for a teen, no matter how passionate you are on pursuit of your destiny, when you are contended with the power of almost, you will put effort into life and you will have nothing to bring out of life. Am I talking to somebody here? When the power of almost decide to plague a man, the man will keep putting effort and there will be nothing to show. When the power of almost want to render you useless, no matter what you do, when others get it easily, you struggle and struggle at the verge of getting it, you lose it. Am I communicating with somebody here? Yes, sir. And as I began to study my Bible, in the place you read, the Bible spoke about a man, a perfect example of whom the power of almost ruined his destiny. Before I tell you that, let me give you a background story. The people of Israel moved from Egypt to Israel or to the promised land for 40 years. Their movement, the exodus, was all summed up together for 40 years. They moved from captivity to the land full of milk and honey for 40 years. This man followed them. His name was called Aaron. He, in fact, he was part of the pioneer founders of the move. That move that they needed to leave captivity to prosperity. He was one of the pioneer members that founded the move. But the Bible told me, he went through all the wilderness experience. He went through all the rigorous movement. He was accused of the unbelievers and accused of the believers. He was contended by Moses and contended by the people. He went through all the processes. But it was the 40th year. The 5th month of the 40th year. The first day of that 5th month. He could not enter the kingdom of God. He could not enter the promised land. He could not get all he has labored for 39 years. He could not earn it. Because the power of almost robbed him of what his destiny owed him. This morning, I don't know who you are here. That is contending with the power of almost. I don't know who you are in this meeting. That a word was sent to precede your destiny. And frustrate all your effort to make sure you don't succeed. This morning, I want to make a prophetic decree. If you can hear the sound of my voice. Every power of almost, demon of almost. That has decided to crumble your destiny. If you give me amen, that power will bow because of you. The man, Aaron. He was every five years he was there 10 years he was there 15 years he was there 20 years he was with them his passion was that we are going somewhere 30 years he was with them his passion was fueled by the acts that we are going somewhere 30 years 35 years 40th year he was with them but the fifth month of the 40th year the first day he died many started school ah the first year they pushed with barrow to pay school fees they went to farm they did all forms of mania job to make sure they are the first graduates in the family but in final year they are looking for their file almost have robbed you two years three years five years ten years after marriage finally it looks like blood has gathered in your stomach it looks like blood has gathered in your womb five years ten years twenty years you have waited on god and finally it looks like blood is gathering you are telling your husband but it's like something has happened to me it's like something has entered my womb my, my body system has changed you are counting days thinking one month will complete thinking the month will end and you will not see your menstrual flow you are counting days you are already giving thanks to god all of a sudden you sleep only to wake up all your body with blood only to wake up you have started spotting only to wake up there has been a miscarriage the power of almost i had a friend we grew up together this guy did not go to school all his dream was to travel abroad all his plan was i must travel anytime you see him he will tell you i will travel they sent him to school he did diploma and came back he said i want to travel and ladies and gentlemen he was not living in portacot he had tried so many times no country gave him visa no country gave him visa finally he tried uk uk gave him visa hey he was celebrating he called me he shared his testimony he was sleeping he had booked his flight he was leaving portacot to benin to lagos rather he decided to visit home just to be the mother farewell he told the mama bye bye i dey go if i get there i will change your life that's how this young man entered moto heading to lagos before he got to ore the moto ran on that trailer the moto caught fire this young man died he, he didn't just die he roasted he 
tongues. All this, when they sent me picture, I was surprised. Because me and him, we spoke the power of almost. They don't catch up with you when you are inside the, the, the issue. They catch up with you when you are at the gate. That's why the Bible says, he said, your children will rule in the gate of their enemies. So that means the power of almost cannot take your children's destiny. The power of almost cannot steal your joy. Hey. The power of almost cannot take your start. Hey. Now let me prophesy on you. As you hear the sound of my voice, in the name that is above every other name, you will not be caught up with the hook of almost. Amen. The power of almost will not take your joy. Hey. 